Hello, and we're in the toy shop today, and we have um, a variety of toys from through the decades. And we start in our collection with the oldest of our toys. Now, toys served a main purpose. And as you can see, these are um, the same kind of things that an adult would have in child size. So, you know, as you're learning about how to cook or uh, how to beat the drums um, or anything else, it's just a smaller size, you know, whether it's gardening um, or even working with animals. So we have here, we have at uh, the very top here, we have pull toys. Um, and it's all wood, all made with wooden wheels. Um, the lion in there is actually made out of fabric, um, and the uh, chicken is also. Um, but the toys themselves, are you're pulling them, the wheels are all made out of wood, everything is um, at, uh, wood, and you're pulling that. Um, and then as you come down, we're also looking at like furniture and games. Now, this is dominoes. And we still play dominoes today, but this is how it looked like um, in the past. And then uh, even this set of dominoes, if you look, you have to watch your kidneys because this was an advertisement for Dr. J.H. McLean's liver and kidney balm. Uh, so they were also, the games that you got were also advertisements for companies and they give those away. Um, and then we have blocks, and you could learn your math, the 8 minus 5 equals 3, or learn how to spell with Jack. Um, the other thing is learning how to build with Lincoln Logs, and that was a very popular thing, um, named after President Lincoln. Uh, and then even this, again, it's a pull toy, uh, but it's all blocks that you can take out and then build with. Um, then also chess and checkers has been around for a long, long time. And so you would have had chess or checkers set cards, playing cards have been around for hundreds of years. And also as we get, get along, the furniture would have looked like the furniture. We're in another time period here. We're coming with the wicker furniture and that's the kind of furniture um, that you would have seen possibly out on a porch or in a garden. Um, and then again, it's this is doll sized along with this more fancier piece of furniture. Um, it's made for a specific larger doll, but again, it's a piece of furniture that you would have seen in the house. Um, and as we come along, we have different rocking horses here. Um, and, and horses, horses were a main staple of life. And, um, so they, they did work and they were your friend and, um, you just get, didn't get along without horses. So they were a big part of toys. Then, um, as we come along, now we had wood wheels. Now look at this. We've got all different types of metal wheels. So now we're getting into an era where the metal wheels are used. Um, and then here, this is um, fabric that was used to make the um, bodies of the, the horses. This is a paper mache, and this is again is fabric. And here we're getting um, even newer. Now these dishes are, now we're getting into aluminum uh, dishware. Now this um, then would have been so much newer than uh, the ceramic ware that, that you would have had um, in, that this person's grandma would have had ceramic ware. Then um, after a while, we still have the metal wheels, but now we have what's called lithograph. Lithograph is printed paper and you can see by this course, this part of this um, came off and it would have been glued on. So here's how it looked um, before uh, that tour. And it, but this is a good example of how 
that's actually then glued on. So now you're looking at toys where it's all glued onto the figures. Um, and even the castle here, uh, the, the, the boat, this other toy that moves, here's a circus. And even with the blocks um, that you can move around and mix and match. And um, puzzles. Puzzles were also the perfect for the lithograph because they could put it on uh, thick pieces of cardboard and um, cut them. And so they'd start with the picture and cut them. And we still use puzzles today, but they came, uh, the best time is during the lithograph period is when that's when uh, they became very popular. Uh, again, some more chess or checkers. We've got blocks. Bowling. Bowling was a sport that was, that's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, and uh, so here's a small set, uh, but that was something that um, adults and children would do. And again, we have um, the, here's lithograph. And yet now you can learn to play piano um, in little tunes um, as a child. And then eventually you could, you would graduate to a large piano. And then even stories would have toys. This is uh, Noah and the Ark. Um, then we have uh, this trunk. This Now this looks exactly like an adult's trunk, only it's made for doll size. Here's the size of the doll, and here's where you'd put her clothes. And we have other dolls here now. We have uh, dolls that are, um, Made, there's a ceramic face, there's a plastic face. Uh, here's more of this celluloid dolls. Um, another thing would be paper dolls. Paper dolls um, was something that uh, a good inside um, thing to play with. You'd cut out the dresses and then put them on and off the doll, changing her look. Then later, we came into metal toys. And now this has the lithograph head, but now we have the bottom is metal. And so we're, as, as we're getting into the 1900s, um, here we have a little military set of soldiers and truck. And this is, now this is an all metal truck. These are all metal pieces. And this stove is now an all metal stove. Now this stove is special because this one, Mrs. Elizabeth Belt Sipple uh, received this. Uh, it belonged to Mary Galloway. And um, Mrs. Uh, Elsa Belts Jan uh, took care of Mary Galloway from birth um, at the Edwin Galloway home on First and Park so this would have been Edwin P. Galloway's daughter, Mary. Uh, Mary was born around 1915, so we're talking about late 1900s, early two, uh, 1920s, when this stove um, was around. And it looks much like you would have the stove in the kitchen with all of the different pieces and even the stove pipe. Then we've got the larger dolls. Now here, again, even the hair is plastic. So uh, not even having uh, the fake hair, we have the whole plastic head. And this is a tea party and everything is doll sized here. Um, the other thing is we're going, we have the chemistry set. Now this is uh, another thing where um, you're learning uh, and playing at the same time. Uh, because you learn so much when you play. And it's very important to learn while you're playing and to play. Uh, so here, this is learning in a serious way with chemistry set. 
These are all glass beakers and uh, different chemicals then, and they would have had recipes as to what can go together so that you don't blow anything up. Then we come up to uh, these more metal, um, heavier uh, pieces come apart. Um, you've got rubber wheels on the trucks now as we're getting into the next era. And even um, the banks, we've got here, we've got a, a bank um, and here's another bank that we have. Now this, um, and again, it's a bank, and you would take it apart to get the coins. Uh, this is Buster Brown and his dog Ty, and that Buster Brown was a shoe type. It was a, sh a shoe brand um, like Nike is nowadays. So you'd get, you'd wear Buster Browns and his dog Ty, and then they had all kinds of toys with that. Then we have mechanical toys. Now, uh, not battery operated. Mechanical, as in their wind up. So you'd wind up the toy and it would move. There's different ones. Here's another one. Oh well, wind up. and the bird is eating and chirping. So these kind of wind-up toys, um, that was uh, something that, that each one would have this key and the mechanics in there would make it do something. This drums, uh, the camel might, would walk. We also have toys that, that um, would be with sports. Um, so we have a lot of those things that are, are here. Um, and then as you get in, now look at this stove compared to Mary Galloway's stove or the stoves we saw at the very beginning. Um, this uh, is a later period and electricity. So even the toys would then, you'd plug in and be able to use. Um, same thing, here's the washer um, and here's more metal. And this is like an all metal village and an all metal house. Um, and there would be figurines that you would play just like you would with a dollhouse or um, anything else that this would be uh, um, uh, just played with as, as a village and there's also the back part. And of course, you would always have sporting things. So here's baseball. It's been around for a long time. So we'd also, I can't do it jump up and down on a pogo stick. <laughs> and that would also be uh, something that you would do. Playtime and toys it includes having sports. And then we also have what's called it is our train set. I'll let you get in so you can see the train set up close. Now, trains were very important um, to uh, getting 